What's up, what's up, this is Jay-Z. Hey, yo, this is Eminem. Yo, what's going on, it's your boy Drizzy Drake. Yo, what's up, this is Usher. This is Big Snoop, D-O-double-G. Man, it's your boy, T-Screen. You know, it's them G-ass boys. Yeah, man, it's Spice One. This is your boy, Bad Boy Billy Sly. Hey, yo, wings up, this your boy, Judah the Freeze. Yo, 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 what up, what up, it's the one and only Murphy Lee. Yo, this your boy, B-Mac Banks. That's right, it's your boy, Havoc the Mouthpiece from the South Central Cartel. This is Steve Aaron. All right, that's what's up. A.K.A. The Invade, only on KFSM Radio. KSFM Radio. On KFSM. KFSM Radio. KFSM Radio. On K. All right, we're almost there. The intro's almost over. KFSM. It's your radio station. KFSM Radio Station. KFSM Radio Station. I'm tuning in. Yeah, welcome one, welcome all to Celebrity Talk with your boy 2D. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody because we getting over the hump. It's the middle of the week, baby. And I got the one and only, the DJ with the skills to kill because he on the wheels of steel, baby. DJ Taz, yeah. Man. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you with us, man. We rocking and rolling. God is good. Corona free. Checking it out, man. I know you out in the ATL, man. What's good with you, family? Hey, man. You know, we're still quarantining a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But we in the studio working, though. We still getting it in high up. Okay, I see. That's what it is. We got a lot of people out there be saying, man, oh, man, because of quarantine, I can't put my album out because of the quarantine. I can't do this. I can't do that. It seems like you still working, man. Tell us a little bit about how you still getting it in, man. Can't nothing hold no, no greatness down. Hey, man, you know, before even the came in, we shot a video called No Stopping. And it's ironic that it says No Stopping, so that's what we're doing. Mm. We're finding a way to make a way out of no way like we always have done. So we're going to keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got a video out called No Stopping, Green Socks, Blueprint, you know, for the Blueprint, and the album in Bell, Satron Music, which is my new company, you know what I'm saying, in the industry. So we rock it right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, we're working on Brother Marquis from the Two Live Crew Project as well, you know what I'm saying? In the, in the studio right now, who I got with me, well, I'm outside right now, you know what I'm saying, because it's loud in there. Amen. With Wild Cal, Cal from Jagged, Cal Norman from Jagged Edge, man. So Come we, on. Man, we, Push it. We keeping it pushing, man. Amen. I think I think we got uh I think we got brother on the line with us right now. Hey, you there with us, big boss? How about your boss, man? I think he called the wrong line. He ain't calling Skype. Hey, you there, brother Marquise? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. That's an ATL number. I don't know where he at, but we gonna get him. In. <laughs> Amen, amen. We got to get him on the Skype so that way we can make sure we can see him and everybody can see how he doing. So you in the studio working, man, putting it out. You got this amazing track, man, and I love it. I love. I got a couple of your tracks. We've been kind of digging a little bit. That my life is off the chain, man. How you doing it? You doing it like that? I mean, you know, I've been in the game, you know, saying professionally since '95, man. So you can't do nothing. Keep getting better. Surround yourself around good people, man. And some Better people, man, just, you know, we work off each other, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that's what's up. <laughs> now, with corona being the thing that it is, you know what I'm saying, they say, oh, you got to practice social distancing. How, how are you guys utilizing the internet to be able to still put together hot tracks like that, make things happen, and keep on moving? Well, I mean, you know, what I have done, man, I went on uh, live and DJ live, and so what I do, I slide my, my new music in there, people that I'm working with music in there. Oh, okay. You know I mean? And I email them out to the DJ still, you know what I mean? So I still put them up on the platform that's online, the IG, the, I mean, the iTunes, the, the uh, uh, Google Plays, and, and the titles, and all that, man. So, you know what I mean? If people really searching for it and they want to get it, man, they can get it. So, okay. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just trying to figure it out. Still, everybody trying to figure it out. But at the end of the day, man, we're going to keep it pushing. You know, we're going we gonna to figure it out, man. We always do. Amen. You know that's what's up. 
right now, but hey, man, we're going to keep on pushing through, though. With you. Hey, as long as you got the recipe and you got a plan, you can get the answer to it real easy. That's what's up, hey, man. <laughs> That's what's up. So you are like a pioneer in the game, man. I've had an opportunity when I knew you was coming on to kind of do my research, download my music, and get it in. But there's a lot of people, man, that's been sleeping under a rock and don't know exactly who DJ Taz is. Take a minute, man, and tell them about yourself. And I know you're a humble man, but just, man, glow for a minute. Let people know who you is, fam. Man, my, my, first, uh, my first hit record was in 95, 96 with a legendary uh, uh, artist here in Atlanta, Kilo Ali, mm. who uh, uh, apparently, you know, apparently he went on to sign with Organized Noise, which is Dungeon Family, Rico Wade, you know what I'm saying, Pat, Sleepy Brown, you know what I'm saying, the whole, whole Organized Noise thing. So then I came out with my own single up on the Ferrari record, that's right. Mm. My biggest uh, single ever, you know what I'm saying, as a rapper. I never intended on being a rapper, man. <laughs> It took off, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so I, yeah, I got a whole uh, a deal with Ferrari in my man, did the whole album, toured all around the world, man. Came back, produced some more Kilo stuff, some Raheem, the Dream stuff. There was a lot of Southeast region artists, you know what I'm saying? Period. Oh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just homegrown, man, and, and that's primarily like, I can go on and on it. Numerous of shows with Run MC, Outcast, wow. uh, Crew down, many large, uh, jagged edge, the list goes on. And wow, on, and broad base, you know, what I'm saying, even up to date, you know, what I'm saying, we did a uh, the uh, 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 NFL live, you know, what I mean? 50,000 strong out there, maybe rock that. Then we did Freak Nick last year, okay, so, yeah, man. So, we're keeping it pushing, man. So, Amen. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I, I can go on and on, man. I can just say Google me, man. <laughs> you say just Google DJ Taz, baby. That's what it is. Listen, man, y'all out here grinding and you working, and you say, man, I didn't even expect to be an artist, man, but I put it in. That shows your versatility. How important is it for artists to understand that? Because you got the Justin Bieber's and the cats who got the the YouTube fame. They hit made one song and then they came famous. A lot of younger kids, that's happening to them. But you need to understand the industry. How important is it for our new artists that are coming out to understand marketing, promotion, what type of managers? There's several different types of managers out there and to really be in touch with the game and not just be an artist. I tell people this all the time, bro. You can't do it by yourself. Mm. You're only strong as your team is. So it ain't no I. It's team. Mm. Team. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We say we, not me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you say me, you know what I'm saying? We upside down, it's just me. So wow. So team, man. So everybody got to play their position, man. Stay in our own lane, and everybody moving on one and forth with one objective goal. You know what I'm saying? That's to reach the top. Stay on the top. Hey, man. Come on. That's what's up. And that kind of segued me right into my next question because there's a lot of songs out there. You ain't just smoke by myself, drink by myself, drink that I did it on my own. Everybody's thinking that they can just do it by themselves. They're not understanding the importance of having a strong team, a manager that loves and trusts you, people around you that you can trust and have the same goals. How important is it to really have those factors in your life when you're making music and you're in this industry and doing the moves you're making? You know what I'm saying? You, you hear a uh, 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 Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying, say the money team or this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to tell people when I was on the road doing my shows or when I did my shows, say DJ Taz is just not me. DJ Taz is everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You DJ Taz, you DJ Taz, you DJ Taz. You know what I'm saying? That's if I'm in the spotlight. You dig? Okay. So, you know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? If I'm working with a team, I'm going to play my position. You know what I'm saying? I ain't all necessarily have to be on the front line. You know, I never want to be on the front line. I just want to DJ and produce, man. But now, you know, I know, you know, learn how to do the artistry thing and engineer and, you know what I'm saying, consultant and all that, you know what I'm saying, just by trial and error. Okay. You know I mean? Amen. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just by trial and error. Sometimes you got to fall a little bit to get picked back up. Now, every Wednesday, we do a Love Your DJ Wednesday because as an artist myself, I understand that I wouldn't have none of the notoriety that I do have as an artist if it wasn't for my DJ partners and the people that I love and supporting me as a DJ. How important is it for people to really understand? Because they taking DJs for granted these days. They're like, oh, I got Pro Tools. I can mix, master, and do everything by myself. How important is your role still in the industry today, man, because it's vital. All right, I, I can say this, man. You can, you can leave your music in the computer or you can get it out there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love it. The best ways and one of the effective ways and one of the oldest ways is this thing is you got to connect with the DJs, man, because they in the clubs, they on the radio. You know what I mean? They got their own shows. They got they got following. They got you know what I'm saying. So they know how to break music. So you know you just can't depend on just one thing. You got to have different avenues to get your music out there. And most most definitely, you got to have the DJ. The DJ is one of the cornerstones in the game. Amen. And I always will. So you got to keep. That's why they call me DJ Tags. I connect with the DJs. I love all the DJs. Point blank and pure. You can't do it without the DJs, man. You got to. You got to get with a DJ. Gets a lot of DJ. DJ crew. Yes. Food and everything, man. Across the globe. Amen. 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 So we moving around, man. We got the DJs. They out there. They doing their thug thizzle. And you're out there as a pioneer. Looking up to people. You've worked with multiple people. I know, again, man, you're a humble man in this game doing your thug thizzle. Just tell people, man, some of the people that you kind of work with to really put you in a position that you're in aside from yourself because it's your grind and it's your hustle and your talent that puts you where you at. But uh, tell us about some of the people that you're with that work around you. Man, right now, uh, Brother Marquis goes different. I got a uh, Johnny Taylor nephew that's with me, man. Uh, mm. James Lucky Taylor. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I got a partner of mine, Sir Charles, you know, in the Southern Soul Market. You know, I mean, I got my rap partner, Outcast, you know what I'm saying? The Dungeon family, them. Come you know on. I mean? So I got Cal from Jagged Edge, them. I got Jizzle Man from the French Eye Boys. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, like, I got 69 boys I deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I put these guys, Ghetto Mafia. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, the list can go Raheem the Dream. You know what I'm saying? Uh, MC Shy D. He's yes. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kilo Ali. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I, I see a lot of classic artists because, you know what I'm saying, like I came up with these guys, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I would love to get with the new artists and work with them, you know what I'm saying? We just need to bridge the gap and make it happen. So I'm willing, I'm pretty sure a lot of my uh, classic partners willing too. So, yeah, man. So, yeah, man. I mean, I, I don't know. I got to get my get my bio in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I like that, and I like how you use your classic partners. A lot of people like to use old school. I prefer it. I'll use true school if I'm using that type of knowledge. I like that that my classic partners out there. But you say you will head into the studio right now. You in the studio just working? Yeah, man. See, see what it is. See, you know, rock and roll, blues, gospel, uh, alternative music. Uh, man, they don't have no age. Mm. To me. Come on. Only thing R and B and hip hop. Uh, hip hop. Now and you're too you too old. <laughs> like you, you, you too old. That's for the young. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, yeah. Hey man, you go to a Rolling Stone concert, man, or whatever, man. Them things they packed out there. Right. So, old as can be. So I'm saying. So yeah. So we can't. We gotta take that out the whole equation, man. Because you know what I'm saying. I think that's how some youngsters came in the game. They down in the, the classic artists, y'all man, that that stuff is oh, we ain't doing that boom, boom, boom. And they made their own way. I'm proud of that. But at the same time, you can't diss the ones that came before you, man. Mm, amen. Yeah. Ooh, that's truth right there, baby. That's drill talk right there. Listen, man, so you're moving around, you're doing things, you know, corona is affecting everybody. We kind of mentioned that a little bit earlier. Artists like yourself and myself, some people may got the Trump money. Some people may not have got the Trump money. I know I want my Trump money. It's going down. Give me some stimulus money. Um, how has the this pandemic affected you or pro helped you to prosper with people being in the house now and with this new album and this new these new singles that you got out? Man, it gave me more time to push mm. what I had, man. And, and as well as I did, I did. I mean, don't sound like everybody else. I was affected. Cause I'm still out gigging, you know. I yeah. still go out DJ mm. till I done do shows and stuff like that. We had did the South, we had South by West, South by West. And Already York, booked. York, mm. uh, off in Texas, man, with Mr. Chiefs and Jim Jones, man, and and we had a match report after that. I'm I'm looking at them dollar signs, and when they say they canceled everything, man, I I think I went in for about five days. I stayed in my bed. I was sick. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> said I was sick. <laughs> I hear you, man. That's it made it tough for Go ahead. Yeah, we had to shake it off, man. So so what we did in this pandemic, man, so me and my other homeboy, Blue, he from up top. So we got a vitamin C company now. Mm. Vitamin C. Okay. Vitamin B, zinc company. It's called Celebrity Vitamins. So you know what I'm saying? So 
But we got that going up, up, up and running right now. You know what Amen. I'm so as far as on the music level, I, I'm like, yo, we got to stay pushing and recording. So, you know what I'm saying? We released the No Stopping. He also did the video. We got it up online right now. Wow. So we're going to use that same formula with everything. To prepare ourselves, we're going to start rehearsing, get ourselves ready for the shows. Because this ain't going to last forever. Amen. Amen. That's what's up. Well, that's what's up. Well, we was talking about coronavirus and stuff. It looks like we got a visitor, man. Give me one second. Don't go nowhere. I think we got a visitor. Let me see if I can let him in real quick. See what he's talking about right here. Hello, DJ Taz. This is Donald Trump. How are you doing today? I am the president. I do not have to pay attention or listen to you. You have to listen to me because I am Donald Trump. I truly love your music, especially my life. It completely talks about my life and the life of the Americans that's going on right now. So don't stop what you're doing. But the problem is it's too impactful and it's going against what I'm talking about to the people of the world. So I'll tell you what. I know you may or may not got a stimulus package. I'll offer you a $5 million stimulus package. $5 million. Just stop making music. No more DJ. No more DJ Taz. Vote for Trump. I'm out. You, you, you asked out, bro. <laughs> 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 That's what's up. Shouts out to Donald Trump for stopping through the building. I'm messing my green screen all up, sliding around here, acting like a boo. He said, you asked out. There, there's no right or wrong answer for that. We have some people that have... Just like Trump, they threw that tear up stuff. Right, yeah, they're trying to tear us up, right? <laughs> <coughs> There's no right or wrong answer. Some people say, yeah, take the five million and just change their game around, invest it, do some things like that. Some people say they know that they can make a lot more money, you know, doing what they do. So Trump can take his money and do it. But that, that's kind of like some fun that we try to put into the interview because it's really serious right now. Some people are dependent on that money. Some people have been affected. Some people haven't really necessarily been affected. And again, we kind of go back around to the point to where you are such a dynamic artist and DJ that's moving around, how are you taking, and we've already discussed how you're kind of taking every, being home and producing and putting stuff out, but how are you still moving around and making moves with some of these celebrities and these these real artists that you're working with, with everything kind of being locked down? I think we, we, we think optimistic, man. Uh, mm. We also make sure we take care of ourselves uh, health-wise, you know what I'm saying? We do our lemon, hot water, Mm. I heard about that. And black seed oils and the vitamin C. So, you know what I'm saying? We kind of make sure we stay like that, man. And then, you know, we don't try to go too far outside the box. But, you know, uh, I think most of all, I mean, we got faith. Man. Mm. We got faith. Amen. You know, man. Bottom line, like, mm. yo, I love fear it. is like, God don't want us to have no fear, bro. Mm. So we can't operate in fear. That's you know? it. Amen. We got to be smart about it, but so he's going to give us wisdom for that, too. But we just can't operate in fear all in all in all, because, you know what I'm saying, like, you can walk outside the door today, man, and, and, and something can happen to you, or, or, or drive by, or car mm. wreck, or whatever. It's just another form of, of, of getting sick or another form of death. Come on. So you can't, you can't be afraid to die. Mm. So if, you can't, if you're not afraid to die, then you can't be afraid to live. Wow. So you can find a way to live. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So I think that's what it is. We all are willing to live. Mm. And I think that's really what it, what it boils down to. Wow. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So you know it's there. You know it's there. Okay, cool. So it's a, a police brutality there. Mm. So you just got to finish shooting. This guy that was jogging, man. Yeah. That's right. He shot somebody. This happened last February. That's right. So, man, so, yeah, you know, we in Georgia, of course, of course, but, you know, we in the predominantly black area. This is the black knuckle. So, when we go outside our skirts to the Gwinnett's and those little country little town, yeah, we got our seatbelt on. We, 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 we make sure we don't get pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can all shoot up on the back, black road somewhere. That's real. <laughs> So, yeah, man, so it just, I, I guess it's my theory about it, man. Like, I've done my research on really what's happening, and nine times out of ten, when you're dealing with the politics system and everything going on, it ain't all really what they say it is. Mm, amen. Amen. What they say it is. There's some other stuff going on, too. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know, 
that, that they ain't speaking on or whatever, but it's all New World Order, I feel. I think it's population control. Going tell pro, all that. All that, man. Then, you know, they want to say that uh, Atlanta with Georgia, you know what I'm saying, you know, going to be the first people to go out and go to their businesses and open up the nail salons and mm -hmm. the You know, the, people, the places that we frequent at. Come on. You know? And they right. Have a predominantly black city, and you know I'm just getting deep, man. You know what I'm saying? And so the governor, he didn't get that Atlanta vote. He didn't get nobody from the Atlanta folks. Mm -hmm. States states were able to warn in Atlanta. So you know you gotta look at it from a whole different standpoint, man. So I look at all that and play a factor into this whole thing, you know. But at the same time, being cautious, you know. Okay. Amen. Amen. That's what's up. And that kind of like when I hear your song, My Life, it kind of takes me into that type of situation. It helps me to really, as an artist, I could hear the words and focus I'm like, man, this is real. This is like what's happening in life today. What was some of your motivation behind that deal? How'd you come up with the My Life track? That was more so brought to Marquis, man. Uh, um, I think of uh, a B. You know, saying you know, saying uh, red or somebody had you know, saying kind of did the production on that. I just assist with uh, recording brother Marquise. Okay. And you know, saying and, and helping out in the sense of you know delivery and certain stuff or whatever. And also Dennis Taylor, you know, saying Dennis Taylor, Jenny Taylor nephew, he's the one singing on the hook. Mm. And I kind of like yo get Dennis on this hook because you know, saying this is deep. And it's kind of like you know, brother Marquise is resurrecting from. Where he came from. Amen. You know what I'm saying? celebrating, you know, his city at the same time. So he is a legend. He my OG. So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm cool to be working with him. You know what I'm saying? Point blank and period. Hey, man. That's what's up. Yeah, because I love it. And he definitely went in. He's like, I'm Brother Marquis, formerly a two line crew. I'm like, what? <laughs> he got some bars. He got some bars on that. Guy. Yeah. yeah. He got bars. He definitely brought it back. He's no mumble rap, no nothing. He's just straight bars <laughs> going in on that project. Yes, 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 yes. So, have you guys been planning on what's going to happen when this whole pandemic gets over? I know, me, myself, I'm still, uh, I ain't going to say scared, but scared makes you smart. If you ain't scared of something, then you just maybe making bad moves and you're just stupid. I, I'm concerned about just running right out. Ain't nothing going on in my life right now where I need to go sit down in a restaurant. I could get my own clippers and cut my own hair. Um, but I am planning for the future. See, <laughs> See, there it is. So when when things do start to lighten up and we do start to realize, okay, things aren't as bad as they were and we can start moving around. Have you started planning for what the next move is for DJ Taz? Well, I talked with a promoter, a couple of promoters today. You know, I, I pulled up on them or whatever. and sat in their garage to chop it up about, you know, saying, planning like, they were trying to get 30 dates in these secondary markets. But like you said, I'm, I'm like, I'm with you. I'm not so quick in a hurry to run out mm. and be like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wait till, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to wait till a lot of white people show. Hey, <laughs> that's real talk. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay, the president and, and all those people go out and start enjoying themselves. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or Bill Gates and all them cats. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna see if they gonna go out there, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, then I see. But even though we if it, if it's like that, you know what I'm saying, like I'm still gonna still practice, you know what I'm saying, practice being safe. Mm. Point blank period. If I gotta put a mask on or whatever, I high up, you know what I mean? So I mean, like I said, if there's a will, there's a way, man. We'll figure it out if it comes to that, yeah. Amen. That's like one of my main plans. Like right now, you know what I'm saying, with with Cal. Jagged in, we call them wild cow. Mm. We're doing new blues, so we got to have a live band. We got to have an audience. Mm. We got to have that. Amen. You know yeah. Free money, money don't pay like that. Okay. <laughs> That's real talk. That's real talk. If you are just tuning in, you are live on Middle of the Week with your boy 2D. And then it's going down in the town, straight out of the ATL, baby. We got DJ Taz. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe because it is going down in the town, man. We got him in the studio. We caught him at the perfect time because they about to go in there and make some magic. I love it. I love it. So as you guys are working and as you're moving around, man, and you're making things happen. Oh, look, we in the studio, y'all. Let's get it. Hey! <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> Hey, 
question like how is it in the studio you know some people like to have it dark it gotta be quiet and all this other stuff y'all turn up up in that joint man come on i'm, I'm, I'm for the show mm. but we gotta we gotta we gotta speak we call red bone Mm-mm-mm. We take we get the red bone, we put the red bone in the studio, cut off the lights. What? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm give you a quick little scene, but it's it's light outside, so you can see. Mm-hmm. This is the red bone right here. <laughs> Come on! Oh, that's a big speaker. Mm. You think they're blowing too? Come on now. Don't hurt them. You be hurting them. <laughs> oh, Lord, he's killing them. That's why I cow, man. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to hear that joy. That's how he is back there blowing, boy. You get it, man. Get it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I got the original singing on That's Right. The one that's right. The first lady. First lady, this is Nika, man. Wow. Hey. Oh, we got all the celebrities in the building. Hey. That's right. Mm. That's right. Mm. That's right. Come on, that's right. Oh Lord, have mercy! If you are just tuning in, you don't miss the whole live performance straight out the studio with DJ Taz, baby. Oh, Lord, man, we. Groceries, right there, man. He said that's fresh groceries. Oh man, I love it. I love it. So you you see how you have your team with you, man. You got people with you, like. My man Compton M. Lightner, man, I, I don't know what I would do without him. He really participates and does a whole lot to help me and my business and everything grow, man. So we're a team. We partners in this game. Who Who is it that's like really close with you, man? That's your right hand bass boom coon when it's going down. When you know you got to have to do something done. I got like my homeboy Blueprint. Uh, Blueprint Jr. Mm-hmm. Blueprint Jr. And I got uh, Mr. Flam Point. Okay. You know, me and Cal just start working together, so he's a good right hand man. Uh, and it all depends on the situation. So, truthfully, uh, show uh, uh, Mr. Flamboyant like being really solid with me. Okay. You know that's like my right hand man for his business and music game. He do what he said he gonna do. You know, saying he, he don't mind investing. You know, saying we don't mind investing in ourselves. Mm. So, bottom line is that's like one of the guys I can go to. Say I got an idea. Let's make it happen. Same thing with a blueprint. Y'all got an idea. He come up with an idea. But they call him the blueprint. He always got a blueprint. The same. He got the blueprint. <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. So, I don't know, man. It's like, I, I guess being in the game this long, you try to surround yourself around, you know, good people, man. People that want the same thing or <coughs> they want to see you with something. You know what I'm saying? want to see you succeed mm. in, in people. You know what I mean? So, that's what I look at. But I don't look at what per, a person has. I just look at their spirit. You know what I mean? Wow. I look at their character. Okay. You did. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. And with, with that being said, there's a lot of different things going on in the industry, man. How do you evaluate people? Who are you going to let in your circle? Because granted, music, they say it's a, it's a big situation because there's billions of people making music. But really, the industry or the game or whatever people are going to call it is really a tight circle. If you really in it and you making moves, then you know somebody who knows somebody who heard of you before already. And how important is it to keep your name real and to be honest and, and be a, a good person with the circle being so tight? Your name, your name is your, is your money. You, got, mm. you, got, you, can't, you can't be out here um, doing nobody, you know, running off on it with their money or scamming nobody. You can't, it's going to get around. Mm. It's going to get around fast. Then next thing you know, you get blackballed. Come on, that's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Blackball is a real thing. People don't realize that's a real thing because they've been seeing it on TV on the Tom and Jerry show and stuff and don't realize Blackball is real. Your career can stop. Yeah, Blackball is real. It's, it's, it's really real. I just seen a couple guys get Blackballed. For real. Mm, wow. Like, Ooh, I'm glad I ain't you, bro. Damn it. This is weird. That just shows, again, the importance of just being honest, being who you are. Because what happens is social media now that this came in, say, let's say back true school when, when we're in the beginning stages of what we've been out here doing, everything was really face to face. You might could call somebody and get in touch with them, but everything wound up being a face to face thing. So you can judge and you can read a character, determine if they real or not or what's going on. Now, everybody on there, Facebook flossing, Instagram pimping and all of these things. How do you maintain your integrity and keep yourself safe with so many people out there? Cause I know they're reaching out like, yo man, do a feature with me. Yo man, let's do this. I'm doing this. I got 10,000 followers. Man, sometimes I don't entertain that, bro. Mm. Um, I don't entertain it. I, I, I have entertained it in the past, but like, like, it's nothing like having a relationship with somebody. Man. Come on, yo, don't inbox me, bro. Let's take a look in your eyes, man, to man, to see what you're at. Let me feel you out. You know, say so that. Was, I come from the, you know, say so I come from the, you know, old school, whatever. Mom, let me feel you out. See you, 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 you who you say you are. Mm. You know what I mean? Amen. You know, I, I, and this game, man, out of 2,000 people, man, like two of them might be real. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go through the training process, man. Like, mm. I don't want to go too time consuming, man. You That's know? right. And, and too dangerous. Cool, but, yeah. Just, that yo, okay, you, you say this, you say that. Okay, cool. Let's just meet. Mm. You know, let's see what's going on. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and they ain't going to want to meet because they ain't, they ain't say, they ain't who they say they are. Wow. You know? That's true. They say, though. Come on. Day, I, I'm like, so uh, this real life, and this is what this is. This real life, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Come so on. I really want somebody to come in who's shooting bad, but they really, they really they can be their character speak for itself. Come on. You that, know? That's real talk. I Amen. I don't have all the answers, man. I just, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I just, what's been working for me lately. <laughs> Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's real talk. So, I mean, I believe that. <laughs> well, I know you in the studio session and we supposed to have Brother Malcolm with us. And I think we were missing him on a personal calls, trying to get in on the phone and not on the social media. Um, can we keep you a little longer or you got to get in there? Because it sounds like they blowing it ready to go. Nah, man, they in there rehearsing, uh, getting um, uh, Miss Nico on a verse on there. So okay. I got younger, younger than that. You know how to work Pro Tools and, um, and you know, all this stuff in there. So. I already set this up. I said, yo, I got to do an interview. So, boom. Okay, amen, amen. <laughs> amen, that's what's up. And we really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to be here and be a part of Canvas and Radio Network and what we got going on here, man. It's really been truly amazing. 2020 has been just a blessing all the way around. As you continue to move forward, man, what are some of the things? Because... I know you got this album, man. I, I kind of heard from a little birdie. You got a whole nother project coming out. Can you give us, can you spill any of the bees? Give us a little bit, so something. Yeah, hey, man, I'm, I got this, this guy. He's from up top, New, from New York. Okay. Blueprint, man. He's like, uh, his voice is so distinctive. But he'll remind you of a DMX, but with a style of a Tupac, but he on some mm. new stuff, though. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So it was like my first like real hip hop album that I produced like that hip hop hip hop. Come on. Like, the old pack beats. 
Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, uh, you know, I got, I got big ups from uh, uh, Herb Milton, man. You know, he did a lot of stuff for Mary J. Bad Boy and everything. He's like, yo, Taz, yo, Beast and Six, son. I'm like, yo, okay, cool. <laughs> then, uh, Brother Marquise, man, like, and, uh, you know, I'm working on his stuff, man. Like, we doing, like, some dope contemporary hip hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For the grown people. Ain't nobody really making music for the grown people. That's right. They just mumbling around and making hot beats, right? <laughs> oh no, you did it. <laughs> That's real talk. I don't know. You know they ain't robbing nobody because they ain't got no gun in their pocket and they definitely ain't running from the cops because you not hopping no business with them tight pants on, right? <laughs> oh Lord. So now I'm working with uh Cap and Jacket Edge, man, and uh you know, this guy, he's a, he's a genius. Like, a lot of people don't know, even though he's background singing for Jagged Edge. Mm -hmm. But his, I mean, he's a good vocal coach, man. He's got great ideas with production and everything. He may not play nothing, but he has great ideas. So we've been gelling together, man, and, and making this whole new new music, man. It's like some new blue or some rock or whatever, man. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. So we just trying to stay new and innovative. And you know, trendsetters, you know, I mean, we're trying to follow the way, mm. our own way. Hey, man, come on. How about that? Shouts out to everybody who's on our YouTube live checking us out right now. And on this special edition, my earpiece falling out of Celebrity Talk. And you know who we got? We got the one and only DJ Taz, baby. And it's going down in the town. Trilla Player's on there. He said, What's up, fam? From Trilla Player. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's what's up. Shouts out to my man DJ Sincere Man from the Dirty Basement. Make sure y'all subscribe and y'all tuning into the Dirty Basement because actually because of him, he the one who recommended us and kind of got us connected. So shouts out to Dirty Basement Man and all of them guys got going on out there. But the ladies been wanting to know as soon as we put the pictures up, they're like, "Hey, is he married? What's going on? Is there a Miss Taz in the picture? What is happening?" There's no Miss Taz. I've been married twice. I'm looking for the Screen right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> hey man, hey, 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 <laughs> okay, hey, baby, I got friends. Shout out to Reese. I see you, mama. She says, hey. They turning up with us right now. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. So I see you got your own swag. Me, I'm from Buffalo, New York, so I'm a New York dude, kind of do that. I do the black label. I used to do the Pelly Pale and all of that. What kind of gear are you rocking these days? Because you a trendsetter, man. Man. Come on, baby. That's real, but you at work right now. <laughs> Flip flops with socks. Hey, ain't no. But you work in tune. When you work it like that, you need to be comfortable so that way you can create and just get them creative juices working. If you got all some tight joints or something like that or some skinny jeans, then you ain't creating, right? Yeah, I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? You Come know, on. I don't want to get too, too uh, flashy out here, man. You know, the robber crew still real out here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. That's real talk. It's real, baby. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> yes, 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 that's for sure. And with so much going on, let, let's just talk about, let's get serious just for one minute, man. You know, they're legalizing weed out there, and you got kids that are younger and younger kind of getting on the weed and stuff. What's your opinion in regards to the legalization of weed? Um, I mean, I, I do think it needs to be an age based thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. As a grown too much is anything is bad for you when it's affecting your life you know what mm. I mean like I do you gotta check that out too you know what I mean uh me myself personally I'm not a weed connoisseur 
You know what I mean? But uh, I have been though. But uh, <laughs> people gonna do what they gonna do. Um, I I I don't want it to touch the young young people, man. Get them a chance to get grown, be grown. Mm. You know, get out their house. You know, get out the house or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, don't worship it like a god. I, I, don't, I don't like that part. Just don't worship it like it's a god. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Hey man, I'm in the same boat. I feel you. I mean, I used to do my weed and all that other good stuff, but I grew up in the age where we had the dare program. Dare to say no to drugs. Weed is a gateway drug. Now all of a sudden, weed ain't no gateway drug. It's just good. Just do the weed. It's natural. It's from the earth. And my biggest issue with it, again, I'm not totally against it, but I look at it as when kids are trying to build their future and they're looking and saying, okay, I'm going to get a job making 40, 50, $60 an hour, you know what I'm saying, doing uh, some type of craft or get into politics or into the medical field. I think the first thing they're going to wind up having to do is kick a habit. If they can get it that easy, and the weed ain't like it used to be when I was growing up, man. We used to... <laughs> they, got this, they got this, ooh, they're just strength right here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I told my daughter the same thing, you know what I'm saying? My daughter, you know what I'm saying? She's she about 30 right now. But um, she ran into a few troubles, you know what I mean? And, and I was like, don't you see that this is like a problem that, that's keep creating a problem? Mm. Like, you get on probation, you want to go buy buy some stuff to get your pee clean. Yep. <laughs> for, for your probation, you can spend more money trying to stay clean. Clean than just staying clean. Right. Wow. 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 So, you know, you're doing all this just to smoke weed. Mm. That means you build your life around that, like real, like you gotta. Sometimes you gotta step back and just see what your priorities are. Wow. Respect that. You get up and like, yo. The only place you go is to the weed man house and go back home, and you ain't doing nothing else. That ain't you trying good. to figure out, trying to scheme on something else, man. You got something ain't right. Come on, yeah. amen. I tell my own daughter that. I ain't telling nobody else. Kids that, but I'm just saying, like, yo. I tell all the kids that. Life a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, every time you get pulled over, you got weed with you. Mm -hmm. So that's a sign in itself, you know. Yes. So you don't travel with it. You go, you know, do this, do it, in, do it in your house, do it at home. You know, like, it's, it's, is it a must that you have to travel with it? Like, that's right. They they locking people up for that. You know that's what I mean? right. Now, I mean, I don't think it's been totally legalized in Georgia yet. I don't think it has. I don't mm -hmm. think it really has been legalized in Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, Come on. They, they can't wait to pull somebody over with, with three, five, or six. Wow. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> That's crazy. Because I think if you spending more than an hour or two a day going to chase the drug, then you got a drug problem. If you got, if you spending time that you could be being creative or building yourself or building your brand or making some money, you chasing something to spend some money just to get over something. I think that's a problem. Man. And that that's great information, man. I hope everybody listen to that, bro. That's, that's deep right there. Yeah, man. I just see it all the time. You know, some people do come to the studio and do what they do. Um, but I also sit back and watch some of my peers and, and, and some people that's uh you know what I'm saying is just regular people whatever man but I just see how it affects their life. Yes. And I did and I and I and I when I did it I seen how it affected mine. Mm. You know what I mean? I Amen. Said, I said I was gonna go do something I procrastinated <laughs> on, I put it off to the next day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that back, you know Come on, mean? that's real talk. See we trying to build a business or you trying to you know, get you keep your coins coming in. You gotta take care of your family. You know, but yeah, I, I, I see it. But I mean, I mean, to each his own, man. I ain't judging nobody or what they do. Mm. I just say if you're gonna do something, just do it within. You know, what I'm saying, you know, just do it within. You know, just make sure that it's not affecting your life. Amen. You know, that's, that's, Come that's on. All Amen. Yeah. Now you was talking and you said I got a daughter and she's thirty. So what you was making babies at ten years old? I mean, what? This is not going down like that. Come on. They say black don't crack. What are you doing, man, to stay so healthy, bro, and stay looking so good? I started young, man. <laughs> Amen. I started young. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. No, man, I just try to um, eat, eat, like, uh, healthy. Mm. The most definitely, you know, the substance. I, I stay drinking that black seed oil, man. They got a hundred and one different benefits in it you okay know, in, the, in the green tea uh hot green tea in the, in the green tea complex 500 milligrams i drop it in the green tea 
Mm. Um, you know, and I just just pretty much try to stay stress free. You know, Amen. I, don't, I don't like being around negative energy. So, but uh, I don't know, man. Just God been blessing me, man. And I get standing in the studio. You ain't outside wearing your body out all the time. I don't know. <laughs> that was yeah. That was too right. <laughs> that was too man. Look, <laughs> hey. Yeah. As we all here and we getting it, man, and we moving through things, I know you got this, this new single out. Are you working on a bunch of different projects? Tell everybody how they can get at you, man, on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that, man, website. Letting everybody know how they can get at you and check out this new track. Okay, man. My uh, Facebook and Twitter is Original DJ Taz. My IG is The Real DJ Taz. And you can go on my YouTube YouTube channel DJ Taz 11 to check out all the videos that uh, we put out uh, in 2019. I think we put out like seven videos. Wow. Uh, my project that was out in 2019 was DJ Taz Presents. All oh, they might got it on there as Presents by DJ Taz. I got a lot of legend. It's an up and coming artist on there. Okay. Uh, I'm showing my uh, range of production on there too. Uh, different ranges of production. Uh, and then new this year, 2020, you can go online and pick up that No Stopping, you know, with Irene Bells, mm. uh, Green Sox, and The Blueprint. And Amen. So currently, right now, you know, like I said, we're working on the Brother Marquise project and the Cal, Cal Norman, which is a wild cow right now. He, he's a wild cow, man. You see wild, wild cow. cow was in there blowing, boy. I'll tell you, man. He was getting it in, getting it in. Woo wee. So. Amen, amen. So I know our, our independent artists and even some of our celebrity artists that are tuned in, man, and be checking us out, they're going to want to know, man, do you do collaborations? How would a person get at you, man, if they really look at, if they love your work and they would like to work with you? Man, um, man, you can you can email me at Santron Music, man, S-A-N-T-R-O-N-M-U-S-I-C, music, or you can inbox me on one of those social media to make sure it's about some business. You know, I'm doing all kind of music, beats, uh, tracks, whatever, whatever. We want to tailor make the music around you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, we want to tailor make the track around you, man. You know, we, we want to be new and creative and innovative for you. So, yeah, man, we got a team of people. We got a team of writers. We got a team of uh, uh, engineers. And we do our own mixing and mastering, so we don't got to go nowhere. So, and, and you know, we'll fly you in or you can fly yourself in, man, and we can try to make it work, man. Amen. I don't want to send no piece over on no internet. I want to sit down and vibe with you, man. Wow. Put on your mask. <laughs> you said you can put on your mask that's what's up that's real talk practice social distancing get it in though and get to build a relationship a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the best professional relationship starts on uh biz uh blues tongue tie brain fry the business relationships start on a personal level um and that seems like what you're reaching for you're saying hey look I'm willing to work with you. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. We can put some things together, but who are you? What type of person are you? Um, how important is that to really be able to gauge a person? And do you have like your people would you say, look, man, we're we going to chop it up with this dude and see what's really cracking? I might, I might, yeah, I might go out and, you know, you know, scout them at first. And okay. Chop it up, then I fill them out. Then I bring them around my people. Let them dissect. Them. You know? Amen. Yeah. That's, that's real talk. Yeah. If you can make it to them, good luck. Okay. Good luck. You know what I'm saying. So it just don't be my my whole thing. But uh, uh, musically now, if I get to know you and I feel out you where you come from, you just and the other, so it'd be better for the music to our chemistry. Yes. We'll, we'll show off in the music, man. You know what I mean. So and then we looking for classic music to be around for a long time, even mm. when you pass away and gone. We want it to still be playing. Going to be somewhere where it's affecting somebody and touching somebody's life. You know Come what I mean? on. So we, we stay on that mentality. Amen, amen. And and I'm going to just kind of play the devil's advocate a little bit and play right off of that joint. Right now, man, it seems like the kids that are getting in the game, and I'll call them kids or young adults that are getting into the game, are getting younger and younger and younger. And we're finding so many more of these young men and women dying to violence and stuff. Would you have... It, that's what's trending. I mean, unfortunately, that's something that's kind of trending. They, they could be making hot music and nobody cares until they died. And oh my God, up and coming artist was on his way and now his music went platinum. 
Do you have anything to the for the listeners in regards to that and your opinion on that? And how can we help to stop this as as G's in the game? As G's, man, um, we have to get in position to go against the corporations that's mm. helping them put, put them people out there. Wow. This, you know what I'm saying? Some of the people in the record companies is get behind this destructive music. Mm. They put them out there. They don't want to hear uh, a KRS one record. You hear mm-hmm. the chef instructs chef. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They don't wow. want to hear about a Marvin Gaye song, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, uh, empowering our people through the music and you know what I mean? Giving somebody some hope. You know what I'm saying? They like, Come on. Hey, I want you to do these drugs. I want you to get these guns. Mm-hmm. I want you to rob these folks to get this money. That's so, right. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's like genocide through the music, bro. Wow. So, um, I, 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 I'd rather for them to do the music than be actually out here doing the stuff, though. Amen. But I think as OGs in the game, man, if one of them would listen, if they take heed to you listening, and I don't even know if it's take a flashy car, you got on diamonds and everything for them to get, you know, get their attention because mm. they want to see. Oh, oh, he, he got he got money, so I listen, I listen to him. Mm. So I'm saying, but you know, every kingdom always had a wise man in the corner, man. Come you on, know what I'm saying. So you you know, say I look for that man that got that great that great beard, man. I look yes. for that You know, say I look for that older man that got that great because he didn't get that great just for nothing. Amen. He been around for long. He done learned some things. So if he li- if he talking to me, I'm gonna listen. Especially if you take time out enough to give me some game. Mm. about life, about the music business or whatever, I'm going to listen to him. Yes. Especially if he wanted me to win, I'm like, yo, okay, he been around. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'd rather, I'd rather listen to that guy. He may not have a whole lot versus a nigga that got a whole lot and ain't, ain't you know, did nothing yet. You know. Come on. You know, you know, it's cool, man, but at the end of the day, we all needed to survive. But I guess people are attracted by the chains and the and the cars and mm-hmm. how it is and the whatever it is, you know what yep. I'm saying? And like, yo, I'm gonna listen to them because they're rich. Come you on, know what I mean? right? I really listen. I listen really to that that wise man that stay over in the corner in that little bit of house, <laughs> listening, <laughs> right? <laughs> You know what I'm Come on. <laughs> wow. That's real talk. And I think also, as G's, we also need to be understanding when we have these young cats coming up under us to tell them something. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. Say, look, you don't. And I know that's what the music is. They want to hear about popping Molly and all other things they're doing. But real is still real. Rather, some people would respect that or not. If you out there talking about you gang banging and doing all this and all that, it's somebody out there that's really doing it, and they're going to check you on it. And I think that's part of the problem is everybody swearing that they this big, hard, tough person, and they bump into some real dudes, and, and things don't go the way that they expect it because it's not the movies. Man, listen. When we came up, we were basically going to take pictures. Come on. Video. Mm-hmm. Video. They don't want to be associated with it. Associated by nothing loud. That's right. They don't want nobody to know they, what they're doing. They don't want nobody to know nothing. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's some real guys out there. There's some real gangsters out there that's going to check them about that. And you talking about you out there in the trap selling dope, but you stay out there in the suburbs. Your, your dad and your mama rich. <laughs> right. You ain't really got to be out there selling dope. And the dope part, they really got to be out there selling dope. Going to check you by being in the trap. That's right. Like, you know, put you in the trap for bro. You got to. You got a, a rich family. Mm. You got you know, a nice house. You got what you man, you go get get off around here, bro. Come on. Um, you know, wow. You you <laughs> yeah. This is all on the means of living, you know. Mm. So they take offense to that too. So yeah, it ain't you know, yeah, it, 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 it never it never what's going on or never end up uh, end up right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like someone always get knocked off. Come on. Always happen. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. and I, like I say. Some of the big corporations allowing this stuff to happen. They they get behind them and push them. They put an engine behind some of this stuff. Yep. Wow. So, that's just my take on it. I don't know. Amen. That's deep right there, brother. That's deep right there. Listen, if you're just tuning in, then you're fashionably late, then you must be black because you missed the whole thing, baby. We are live right here on Celebrity Talk with the one and only Wheels of Steel, baby. DJ Taz. Yeah. I really want to get to your track, man. At the end of the interview, we're going to play your track so they can check out that My Life because I'm on it. That is my joint right there, man. You got any final shout-outs, man? Anything that we may not have covered that you just wanted to get out to our listeners so that they can understand who you are? Yeah, man. Uh, Shout-out to the 
Yeah, it's dark in here right now. I so, see. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, uh, most definitely, man. But yeah, y'all can check me out, man. Just uh, go on and look up the DJ Taz Presents, Presents by DJ Taz. Uh, check out that project, man. I got some guys from the Dungeon family on there. Uh, Will, Will for real. Uh, Lou Will. Also got Dennis Lucky Taylor on there. I got Jizzle Man from the Franchise Boys on there. Wow. I got Cyrus King Cyrus on there. So, and I got Show No Pimpin' on there, man. This guy, he's 60 years old still rapping. That's but, you he. know what I'm saying? I put him on the project. So, but yeah, um, man, like, like I tell people, man, I just, I've been around for a while. Now I am humble. And I don't do too much bragging about this, that, and the other, man. I just want to keep working, man, and show some progress. And, Amen. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and just win with my team. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, I just want to win with my team. Amen, 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 amen. Well, brother, man, we really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy, busy schedule, even during this corona thing. We see you in the yeah. studio. We still you see you still working, man. We love your music. We appreciate it all that you have done for the industry and all that you continue to do for the industry. Don't stop because you are an inspiration and an idol and a mogul, man, that people really look up to. So thank you, thank you, thank you for what you are doing, what you've done, man, and we appreciate you being here with us, brother. Thank you. Shout out to DJ Sincere, man. Thank you for the club, bro. Hey, man, shout out to my man, Dirty Basement, baby. Make sure you check him out. And we here, baby. We rocking it out. It's over the hump because it's the middle of the week with your boy, Too Deep, and the one and only DJ Taz, baby. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We got celebrities coming, falling off the box. We got Benny Siegel coming up, man. We got Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. They are falling off the woodworks. It is going down in the town. Make sure you tune in to KFSM Radio each and every day, 24 hours a day. You want to hear that new track by DJ Taz? Yeah, we got it for you, baby, right there. It's my life, baby. It's going down right there. And we got we got you. That's right. We got all the music, man. It's going down. We popping it off, man, just for you. Thank you for being an idol for us, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Amen, amen. We going to let him go, man, because they ain't the music. They ain't there blowing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you checking it out, man. We going to check this track out, and I'll see y'all at 10 o'clock, man, 1030. We got, uh... Super Spit's gonna be on live with us, so tune in to KFSM Radio live, baby. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Let me see. I'm gonna dance. I feel like dancing a little bit. Let me see if I can change this thing around a little bit. We could do some dancing and just chill in here. Check this track out, man. Let's get it. Shout out to all the listeners, man. Shout out to everybody who's tuned in. Shout out to Reese. I see you out there. Shout out to my man, Compton M. Lightner, man. Shout out to Dirty Basement. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Keep rocking. Keep supporting us, man. It's my life. It's your life. DJ Taz, man. We in the building. We get it, baby. Let's get it. Make sure you're tuning in each and every day. Check out Bria Cherie on Friday, baby. She's going down on flavor. We're going to get out of here, man. Much love to you, your family, and everybody else, man. Stay safe. 
Now I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Let's go. What's up? What's up? This is Jay Z. Hey yo, this is Eminem. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Drizzy Drake. Yo, what's up? This is Usher. This is Big Snoop D O Double G. Man, it's your boy G. You know it's your yes, boys. Yeah, man, it's Spice One. This is your boy. Bad boy Billy Sly. Hey yo, wings up. This your boy Judah the Freeze. Yo, 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 what up, what up? It's the one and only Murphy Lee. Yo, this your boy B Mac Banks. That's right, it's your boy Havoc the Mouthpiece from the South Central Cartel. This is Steve Arrington, aka the Invade. Only on KFSM Radio. KSFM Radio. On KFSM. KFSM Radio. KFSM Radio. On KFSM Radio. KFSM. It's your radio station, KFSM radio station, KFSM radio station. I'm tuning in. 